Hi, I'm retired Navy SEAL Chris Sinog, the author of Navy SEAL Shooting, and one of the top 20 most frequently asked questions I get is, how do I learn to stay calm during a violent encounter? Now start your timer and I'll share with you five ways you can stay calm during a violent encounter in today's five and under five FAQ. Joining me now is retired Navy SEAL sniper, Chris Sinog. So in today's FAQ, I just want to give you five things that you can do to help remain calm in any violent encounter. And the great thing is not only are they going to help keep you calm, but they're going to keep you in control. The number one thing that you can do is practice meditation. Meditation is teaching you to be present in the present moment. Because during a violent encounter, what happens is you're thinking about things in the past, you're thinking about what could happen in the future, rather than thinking about things that you can control at that very moment in time. And the way to get your body and your mind into understanding that and being present is through meditation. I do it every single day and I think you should do the same thing too. Number two is visualization. Visualizing is so important because there's so many situations out there. Just saying violent encounter is pretty generic, but we need to actually be able to practice the specific events. Visualization is one of the easiest ways that you can do that. All right, so number three is to practice. Just simply practicing is going to make you more confident and that is gonna allow you to react better to any violent encounter. There is something called the competence confidence loop. So my firearms training is getting better, so now I'm more confident in my training, so my training continues to build on itself. And the only way to keep building that is to just keep practicing. Number four is to practice awareness. A great way to do that is to go running on trails or just even being outside and in the wilderness and learning to be aware of what's around you. Another way that you can do that is building your awareness just by knowing that you can build your awareness. Do me a favor right now, look up over the screen, focus on a point that's directly in front of you. As you focus on that point, let your eyes relax and then just think about and see what you can see that is outside of your direct line of sight and do that without moving your eyes. And as you realize that, you have peripheral vision. You are literally expanding your awareness and what you can see. So practice those two things. Get out of your mobile device and start seeing what you can see in your peripheral vision. Start opening up your focus. And that's gonna help you feel more confident when you do get into a violent encounter. All right, so number five, when you are in a violent encounter, you need to flow through that. I'm sure you've heard of the fight, flight, or freeze response to a stress. The reason we have those reactions is it depends on our training or our understanding of the situation that's happening. So those are the three that you most commonly hear about. But what I want you to learn is what I call the fourth reaction, and that is flow. So being able to flow through and being present in any violent encounter, in any stressful situation, you learn it through meditation and visualization and practicing. And that way you don't have to run away, you don't have to fight, there's a fourth way you can do that. All right, that's it for today's FAQ. Practice these five ways to stay calm during a violent encounter. And please check out my other 19 five and under five FAQ videos to continue paving your path to perfection. Hey guys, if you like this video and you wanna learn more, I put together 20 videos with the best training advice I've learned over the past 25 years of training others, and I wanna give those to you absolutely free. Just click on the i card that just popped up or go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos, and I'll not only send you those 20 free videos, I'll also send you a free PDF copy of my New Rules of Marksmanship Manifesto, which is the framework for everything I teach. So here's what I want you to do right now. Click on the iCard or go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos and I'll see you on the other side.